Operation Ready Repro Colonizer Colonist. Oh my God! Hello everyone, my name is Grayson, and welcome to episode 17 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders: Planet of Fall. We are on the My Galactic Empire mode. We are playing as Gertie Badger, and we are on the planet of Komen's Retreat. So let's get right into it here. Operations let's see if I ready. have anything. No, I don't have anything I need to queue up. Although I could queue up this reprocess colonist and like have this city eat a colonist to get a crazy production bonus for a few turns and then we could pump out troops faster which we do need because we are well oh my god what was that god epilepsy warning what happened uh which we do need because we do have a lot of enemies uh roaming around right now we're at war with both of the players up right above us so it's like a 1v2 right now which is not ideal plus all the marauders pooping around in my territory okay so we've got they're grabbing this sector right now. So let me just kind of peek around. I'm going to fly up to here. Okay, so we saw there was a couple stacks here. There's something here. Um, we got nothing here. Okay, here they've got a bunch of troops. Okay, here's some actual forces. Before they had a buttload of scouts for no reason. Um, but here they actually have... <laughs> very strange. Here they have some, some bulwarks with a bunch of random mods a baron again same mod choices very strange yeah str strangely organized forces okay orders required ah that's right it's time to nuke this group and go on in bam sample collection this is our last turn to do this quest but it should be possible now that we have um, nuked them down a little bit. I don't know if they have healing, actually. I'm sure they do. Uh, generation. Hmm. Reassemble after the battle. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty tanky. These ones are pretty hard hitting. Harder to hit as they approach slowed and and shred our armor okay these ones are gonna do thermal this is actually super dangerous they blow up corpses too we have to remember that yeah this is gonna be a little bit a little bit touch and go we are way stronger than them though let's see if we can do it in auto so i don't have to do it manually not even close His colors making our own colors right now I think what do you think do you think these colors skip leg day what do you think so these ones have teleport and strike all foes within two hexes Yes, yeah, so they can move up one, so they can hit, like, everything here. So I gotta be real careful here. Um, that essentially means I'm gonna throw Father Bill over here. Do I want to rock it yet? Uh, I don't think so. My chance to hit's pretty bad, but I could use this opportunity to take out some cover. Oh, that's not bad right there. There we go, we got some burning on there. So here's one of our our close range units here. Let's put him there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this golem up here. And we're gonna put you back here. And we're gonna leave you back here. Morning dubs outside my window, making a, a ruckus. We gotta be real careful. We don't want this neurotoxin on us, because neurotoxin sucks. But this person's in a wrecker, and I assume they can come back to life. Uh, yes, okay. Insanity? That's not good.
Trying to spread out that neuro. Ah, okay, there they go. They got the neurotoxin and immobilized. So that guy's that guy's useless now. Distracted while he's insane. Anyway. Operations available. <laughs> that would be Calvin in the background yelling. So you are immobilized, but not unable to act. And in fact, you can actually hit. Um, <laughs> you can actually hit both of these guys. And I think I'll take that shot. There we go. A nice acid bath for you. So now we have a, a nice, uh, really low health. Two, two health on that one. I take this one out. Enemy destroyed. Hell yeah. I can't. I can't kill that one. I can't stagger it, sorry, is what I meant. If I'm here, I have a pretty bad shot. I'll take this shot, and the reason I want to do that is I want to block this one. Oh, it's going to carve and rend. Yeah, duh. Okay. Let's get the communion. Father Bill is insane. So it should wear off here, okay. But he's got tons of other status effects, making him effectively useless. Can't quite reach. Throw a grenade. All right, that's not bad. Uh, what can we do with operations here? Please stop taking control away from me. Supercharged mechanical or cyborg unit restoring all of its action points. Deploy constrictor. Project constriction field. What does that do? Locks itself and the target together in a phased field, granting both of them plus five shields and stagger resistance, disabling their abilities and holding them in place. The effect lasts until the target breaks free or the constrictor is killed or staggered. Interesting. Disabling their abilities. That's pretty wild. Um, this has high impact, but these two are stagger resistant. Embrace of Darkness is massive impact. I could get a stagger out here. That would stop this one from using Carve and Rend. That's probably good. Oh no, a graze. Gosh. All things considered, pretty good turn. They didn't do a whole lot, actually. Um, Enemy eliminated. I can't stagger any of these. They're they're too beefy. I could drink some health out of these. I want to go ahead and do that. Uh, deal damage to a union. Okay, yeah, nobody has it. Um, let's reconnect to this one. Nope, it's not connecting. I can't actually. This thing is taking a lot of energy to take out. Enemy killed. All right, there we go. Um.
Oh no, a full miss? Oh god. I only had to roll a 15 out of 100 to make it a graze. That's uh, kind of changes my whole turn, doesn't it? I still think it's better to kill. Enemy terminated. All right, I really don't want this carving and rending and killing off my stuff, so we're gonna stagger. Huh. Bit of a weird decision to go in that way, but okay. Our forces are victorious. This golem just sniped things off all battle. So I didn't lose anything, right? No. And in fact, I didn't take that much damage, but I did use have to use um, a handful of operations Objective there. Completed. So we got an ego launcher. It's actually a pretty good weapon. Uh, a bunch of other stuff. We'll take that reward. And so we have cleared out that quest, which is awesome. And as a naval base, we won't be doing that. We're building something, and then we have the this quest over here. Pretty strong, pretty darn strong, actually. So I think what we're gonna need to do is send both of these armies. And then maybe we can pick up a new unit along the way from H&R Block. Do you have anything? Not yet. Um, Buying that out is crazy expensive. Let's not do that. Set production and reverse engineering. You can help with that, actually. That would be great. Bug Zapper can annex its first sector. No. It can actually annex two. And we're going to be taking this Cosmite from Tick. Uh, because screw him. So we can go ahead and grab this one to Bug Zapper. And then probably this one as well. And then we'll end turn. Let's see what Zana gets up to. She's headed out. She's got something going on in the north, it looks like. It could mean I go and attack her now. I do have a stack of six sitting around. Somebody's casting operations on her, so maybe she's fighting. All right, we have a situation up in the north of Electric Eel. There are multiple stacks incoming. They're continuing the assault. They're getting stronger. Here's an actual hero that, what the hell? He's got a color's face. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Corpse denial. Uh, weird. And then this one has mostly... F okay, transcendent. Uh, this isn't crazy powerful. They are elite, though, and they have lots of mods on. So we're going to need more forces down here, it's looking like. Let me scoot on over to, like, like the mountain range. I want to keep an eye on this, but we need more forces over here, don't we? Oh, we can get all the way over there with this army. That's fantastic, which we have to do, essentially. Um, can I afford to stop and clear this out? Because I would like the happiness. Let's send the Penguin. May I offer you this chance to go away? Thank you. And then the Penguin can still make it all the way over to there. All right, now they can't beat this city anymore. Decent militia, towers, walls, eight units, including a color. Two of these really good snipers. They're going to be great up on the walls. I'll have a 10 hex range. Yeah, there's three of them, actually, plus a wrecker, plus anathema in a wrecker. Now, there's a little bit of health missing here, but I'm not too worried about it. We also have this fairly tanky color. Not a lot of health, but that's because it's a recruit. Uh, there's also an apostate army coming in. I hope they don't screw everything up. Let's grab this for Bug Zapper. We've got our next naval thingy. Speaking of naval thingies, where do I produce... Why am I not making any submarines over here? Seeker. Oh, right. I have to make Shakarn submarines over here. Well, actually, I can make them down here. An electric eel. Operation ready, recolonizer, colonist. Oh my god. So we're at 228 right now. So if we cast this here, so we lost a colonist, but we get plus 50% production. 
So now we're up to 342 production per turn, which is pretty sweet. So 114 per turn is coming from that colonist. So I spent one colonist to get about 345, 42 exactly, 342 production. 342 production is enough to make one wrecker or one of these colors. So I basically spent a colonist to get the production value of one of these two over three turns. So not bad, you know, not bad. Uh, unexploited sector. Well, I have no idea. Uh, it's a production zone. Uh, this is food. We can't change that. We've got other weird stuff going on up here. Let's make this energy. Go ahead and buy out this militia. Just in case that might help. Pop us up another 300 or so. Now we're probably going to look at them bypassing the city and going for sectors. So we do need other forces to come in and sandwich them, uh, which is easier said than done because I don't actually have any extra forces around here other than these ones, but they're sort of questing at the moment. I could send them up. Here's Gertie herself. She doesn't have anything to do at the moment. We do want to go and take out this. Hey, where'd that quest army go? Oh, here it is. Right down there. So let's get to here. Go ahead and bring Gertie. Why not? Keep making units in H and R block. I am at war with this person now, aren't I? Yeah. Maybe I should go take a look at what they're up to. See what she's doing. Doing a quest, it looks like. There's another group. Oh, here's that stupid group of way too many mods on early game units. Let's just stop right there. And let's just double check some of these. Uh, H&R Blocks lost a colonist. Yeah. Are they on... Um, how fast are they growing? They're pretty well. They're taking food. Uh, Calvin is at 24 food. Uh, 24 population is sharing all food, so that makes sense. And then Electric Eel is growing, and once it hits probably about 16, we'll probably have it start sharing its food as well. Because we just need this um, export center, and then it'll be really efficient to, Operations to export. And ready. Let's re -queue this up. And we're ready to end turn. All right, in between turns, I lost a scout that was on Auto Explorer over here. Uh, I was trying to head over into this darkness area, I think. Um, there's another one coming over here. Let me just take control of this scout, actually, because you're going to go die in the same spot. Received a proposal from Hutar, or Hutter. Eh, fine, whatever you need, bud. Adaptive exploitation. We can get another Cosmite sector uh, building, whatever. It's about time to switch my capital over to H&R Block so that when I buy units, they um, pop out with the bonuses from this city, which are not huge yet, but they will soon be more helpful. Actually, yeah, they are kind of shitty, aren't they? <laughs> I, need to, I need to fix that somehow. How are we not done with this dumb quest yet? Well, for sure, I'd be done building this by now. So let's build the Cosmite Chamber here, and then we'll sw swap it over, because if you wait to swap it over, it'll actually go over there for free, and that way our, this city can actually focus on building units, which is its actual job. When do I get the next electric... Where's the, the stun module? Yeah, 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 so here's the mod that makes it stun, and here's the, mod, the one that makes it bounce. So you can kind of play around with that to have like bouncing stun or bouncing uh, electrification or bouncing stagger or whatever you want to do. Um, but H&R Block does need to keep making units. Kind of important. We're making 33 Cosmite a turn. So really, you know, we can hardly even spend it as fast as we make it, which is abs absolutely fantastic. So the Nightmare Device color, we haven't actually 
tested that out yet. So I don't know if they're good. So what I probably want to do here is maybe make like another one of these executioners, sorry, electrocutioners. And then maybe I'll queue up one of these. Oh, a Malictors are available. Let me build a Malictor. Malictors are fun. So they can have evasion, 20% harder to hit, plus two shield. This is not bad. That's not bad. Six shield. Like, that's pretty good. So really vulnerable in melee, but not at all at range, which is pretty cool. What's the range of this attack? It's a seven, so it's, you know, needs somebody in front of him so that they don't get to him. Mark of the Dark Sun, because this does bounce, but we do want to increase his power here. Consuming Gaze gives it the ability to heal. What does it have? Uh, mind control. Cage of suffering. Yeah, it's got a lot of cool abilities. So you can either build it to go in and use these abilities, or you can build it to do damage because it bounces and try to apply like different effects. Let's give it. I mean, I could just give it like a billion shield. <laughs> it's so stupid. Nine shield. Why would I do this? Is this a terrible idea? Yeah, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to build this one to, to use its attack so it'll bounce. So let's go ahead and give it Mark of the Dark Sun and Consuming Gaze 50. It's 50 Cosmite for this. Oh, boy. This, this may not be worth it. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, let's try it anyway. As soon as it dies, they return as an Echo of Despair. I don't care about that save template. Dark Walker? Okay. And you can make a dark walker. So here we have to go chase down this apostate army that's getting past our units. And then get back to the city. So we might want to go like... And still get back with that army and with this army. So we're good. So let's go ahead and... Uh, See if we can auto this one without any losses. I'll accept that. I got one really low health unit, but it's cool. It's cool. They'll heal back up. And then down here, we have this quest. So we probably want to nuke this one with an operation because they're pretty damn strong. This network control is going to be a butt. Three of these things. God, they're just going to come in and just crit things. Just just absolutely obliterate something with crits hmm. father bill is waiting on points buck is waiting on points gertie is also waiting on points okay so let's go ahead and launch the sample collection i want to queue that back up i believe i wonder if you can process a colonist more than once in the same city would it increase the production by 50% again? Let's actually see if it'll let me... Our target already in the effect. Okay, yeah, so we can't do that. So let's go ahead and do this fight down here. We're actually way stronger than them now. Okay, I was kind of secretly hoping we'd lose some units so I could play this one. Because I got a lot of really powerful heroes in this one. This Imperial Behemoth is such a fun looking unit. It's just like a chunky kid's toy tank. You know? Look at this thing. Like, I had a tank similar to this when I was a kid. It's like a chunky Micro Machines tank. But instead of being cute and small and fun, it's, like, huge and it's going to blast the shit out of my units. Where are my other two units? Three units. Okay, so we have there's some good stuff here. Buck can probably, like, just kind of go in. 
because he's going to come back to life if anything bad happens to him. Send Gertie over here. Random scavenger, stay safe. I might want him over this way for the rocket. This one has a blast like the excavator tank does. No AOE there. No AOE here. Okay, so really only one AOE thing to watch out for for the most part. Oh, okay, I gotta I gotta back up. They can hit uh, both of those if I'm there. I'm gonna go to like here. Um, this one we might send to like here. No, it'll be able to hit it. Gosh, AOE hey, is really messing me up here. Okay, it'll just be like a reserve unit. It'd be great to be able to kill the network controller to get the network link taken down, which does big things for me, but easier said than done. Blinded. Operations ready. And you you can you can fire a rocket or you could heal. And you are blinded, so this is kind of a that's a decent chance of hitting. Let's take that shot. Yeah, still hit three things there. That's awesome. We set some things ablaze. What do you want to do? Ooh, you can kill. Ooh, that's big damage there. That that might be worth doing. Uh, we can't actually. Oh, we have a we have a, a grenade. We have a grenade. We might be able to do enough AOE. Let's put them put him back real quick. Uh, I could go up to here and then deploy the fart. Going one further. I can't hit the one in the back. Deploying fart. Ah, two misses. Do we have an AOE here? Oh yeah, we do it with Psy Stone of Dissonance. Annihilated. Commune with this one. There we go. Quite enough. That reactive shielding saved it. One point. One freaking point. I'm sorry that you have to die because of that scavenger ally. Unit lost. Enemy eliminated. Um, actually, can I build it back? Don't I have like a reassembly thing? 
Oh, yeah, I do. Uh. uh. Alright, let's get everybody. Here, beat that thing down Enemy first. Terminated. Enemy Ooh. destroyed. Uh, let's have the fart kind of back up a little bit here, because there's no reason for him to die out here when I have perfectly healthy forces to go in and finish this fight. Father Bill is blinded. God, he loves tentacles. Okay, so that one's back to life, but is in dire straits. So let's run back. Um, this one can actually repurpose a corpse, but we have to get close enough. Go ahead and do it. There we go. Full health. This one can't do such a thing. Can we get you somewhere safe? There's no reason to take risks here. Jesus Christ! That unit had full health! Oh! It lived! What? What? Oh, I can get up and beat that thing. Oh, hell yeah. Let's uh, let's get in this one's face. Mm, beat. Um, do we want to? Yeah, yeah. Let's get even more things in its face for Overwatches. Now you uh, are gonna die if we don't get you some health. Let's go ahead and heal you. Same with this one. Actually, we could actually move you to here. More things to heal up with this. I'm just farming health off of these. This is pretty cool. Target friendly unit has negative status effects dispelled and is healed. Oh, we're, we're over time. The assembly march on. There we go. Perfect. All right. Awesome. That was fun. That was fun. Objective completed. We've got Imperial Renown. I think what I've learned from that fight is that I really shouldn't wait any longer to get this ability. It's just so good. It clears all status effects on something and jumps. It's just insane. It's an insane operation, and I should always have it ready. Energy safe and successful. We stole 207 energy. It's probably time to launch another one then on the same person. Nice. And I got Imperial Renown for that. Cool. So now that we're done with that, we can either head out with this army up north to assist in the war or keep pressing on. I think we take these units and we press forward and try to do more quests, like take this thing out or something. Um, but we probably want to just hang out here in our in our territory for more healing power. We'll send these guys up to h and Block to pick up units um, to get get some actual power and head on up and, and help out. Advanced colony. Production uh, oh yeah, that's right. We're over time. I need to end the episode. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, please consider liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next episode.